In this video, I'm gonna talk about my experience making an insurance claim in the process. I'm also gonna show you guys that some events do not go according to plan. And right now, I have this tonality in my voice going on because I'm a little upset. And usually, I'm just cool, chill, motivational, inspirational David representing the photo booth rental industry. But I'm having mixed emotions right now. And yesterday, I got my ass kicked in Muay Thai and I feel the pain right here, my floating rib. I got a punched and kicked in that area, so uh, shout outs to the guy that beat me up. Good stuff, bro. <sighs> All right, just let me take a second to breathe. Breathe with me. <sighs> Release. All right, so let's talk about it. First, I'm gonna talk about one of the worst events I've had in the last year and a half. This is gonna be one of them. And here we go. I get there. The event is no longer taking place indoors. Now they want me to set up outdoors. Outdoors is freaking hot. It's a four hour event. I'm wearing a black polo, black pants. The sun is beating on me. By the third trip from my SUV to the, to the venue location outside, by the third trip, I was already sweating my butt off. And I'm thinking in my mind, damn, it's gonna be the longest event ever and I'm gonna need water. And I wasn't prepared for this. So there I am getting set up. And by the time I was done setting up, I. I got there early, I told her, hey, we can start now. So we got started. And so the, there was a lady there, she was an influencer slash motivational speaker. So she brought a, a big a big crowd, she drawed a big crowd. And now here's one of the first issues, you guys, you guys won't believe how many issues I experienced at this event. And I'm actually now happy to share it with you so you guys can get a perspective that it's not all uh, glamor. It's it, there's challenges up ahead and you, you really got to be thankful for these challenges because it helps you grow and helps you become a better problem solver. So issue number one, personally, it's hot. I'm outside for four plus hours. There's nothing that I can do about it. So what I, well actually, what I ended up doing is I took, put on one of my sombreros that I usually take as props. I put on a sombrero. So your boy was looking like a landscaper out there slash photo booth operator. It was just an ugly scene. I did not look cool in that hat. And people probably didn't take me as serious. Give a damn. So that was the first issue. Second issue, the reception was terrible. I tried using the hotel's Wi-Fi, but then I needed to put a room number as a guest. I did not have a room number and they were not able to provide me with Wi-Fi. And the lady that I was dealing with was running around the entire place. So there's just no way that I can bug her for that Wi-Fi. And so I was running off one bar. So what that caused was this. When the photo booth was up and running, I did bring along my 300 watt Bluetooth speaker and I was playing Spotify. However, when the songs were playing, there was always a delay. What I mean by this is the song would be on like So there was like so many delays just to play one song and it was just a turn off, man. And on top of that, the ladies are like, put something on that we can dance to. I'm not your DJ. I'm your photo booth operator. This right here was a kind gesture from me to you. But they were just so demanding, guys. And it was almost all females because, you know, this influencer, this particular influencer, she, was, she drew in that crowd. So now I go change this, the genre, the song on my Spotify and now there's no music at all because it's loading and loading and loading and I'm thinking, oh my goodness. And on top of that, the iPad sharing station was also taking forever and ever because it's T-Mobile service and they're connected with the same low reception. So I know so far this story sounds terrible, but it only gets worse. So on top of that, what ends up happening is the overlay that I selected, it, was, it had artificial intelligence. So there was AI segmentation to it. And because there's AI segmentation to it, that means that there's more loading and more stuff to be processed. So low reception, a heavy video. What I ended up doing is I went on my laptop, I removed some of the filters to speed up the uploading process of the video because there was just no way uh, people would have waited close to a minute. It, it was just terrible. It was a long line. The, the iPad sharing station wasn't working. So now we're blazing, right? We're, we're spinning, we're going. People are rocking out. Everybody wants to get on the booth with this influencer. And one of the plus size ladies, my goodness, she steps on the arm of my 360 booth, jolts the whole thing. My light and my freaking clamp go all like a pretzel, right? 
And I'm thinking, what the fuck? And so now I'm trying to adjust it, and now it's loose, and now it's at a gangster lean, and I'm so pissed, guys, because I'm really like two hours in. I got another two hours to go. So there I go with my arm hanging out really low with my light, you know, being kind of wobbly, and I'm thinking like, what the heck, and it's hot, and it's chaotic. The ladies are wondering, when is the music gonna play? And in my mind, I'm thinking like, David, you was born for this, bro. You meditate, you try to eat healthy, you go to Muay Thai, you get your ass kicked, you do some ass whooping, and you do this so that you can deal with these events under chaos and still keep your cool. So that's what I do. I keep cool, but inside, I'm boiling up. So that happens, and then on top of that, some of the ladies took off with the props, never brought them back. I can't chase after them. And so by the end of the day, I ended up with a damaged photo booth. I ended up with missing props. I ended up with, uh, you know, just this like bad taste in my mouth from working in an area with very, very bad reception. And so that was the event part of it. Okay. So now let's, let's move on to the next thing. Now the insurance claim. So I'm thinking I can't be dealing with this booth because it, it has that dent on the plate. And I'm gonna show you guys right here exactly what I mean, how this lady dented the damn plate, as you guys can see right here. Now I have options, guys, I have options. In fact, I want, I'm gonna show you guys these options. Either I can buy the part outright from my supplier, a Cindy, as a spare part, and wait for it to ship in, or I can make a claim through Thimble Insurance, which I've been using for over a year now, and I'm glad a lot of you guys stepped it up as business owners and are currently using Thimble for your photo booth rental business. Now, I have my Thimble link in the description box below. If you guys wanna sign up for Thimble, go for it. I'm gonna show you guys one thing that I'm loving about Thimble right now. This is the first time I attempt to make a claim. So I submitted the claim, I got an email the very next day, and then the next day, which is today, uh, a representative also called me. We got on a phone call for a little bit. I'll share some of the conversation here with you guys. If just let's say my equipment, I have a booth and it fell on someone's ankle, broke their ankle, right? And now there's like a, a claim. Like, is that when general liability would be utilized? Is that is that where it would kick in? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, general liability coverage is, is for other people that make a claim against you for injuries okay. or or property damage. Got it. And then the customer property protection would be my client's table, my client's house, my client's just anything on their property, right? Or or a venue. Essentially, yes. Okay. This is much this is great cuz I I'm really uh soaking up this knowledge here with you today here Matthew. Um, and the business equipment is really, really straightforward. It's I asked so many questions, so Matthew was really patient with me. The reason I asked a lot of questions is because I want them to set the expectation for me, and I want to get an idea of what I'm looking at as far as the future goes if I have any incidents. So as you guys can see right here, the general liability is $2 million. Customer property protection is $5,000. Business protection equipment is only $2,500. So what does that mean? That means that if it's more expensive than $500 to get my 360 booth repaired or replaced, I'm better off paying a $500 deductible and it's gonna cover up to $2,500 of whether it's a repair or replacement of my 360 booth. Also guys, note this. What I learned is that if they pay you, say for example, $1,000, Thimble pays you $1,000 to repair your 360 booth, it's a good idea to, sh to show them an invoice in the future or throughout the same year if another incident happens on that exact same booth. Because if you don't get it repaired and get an invoice from the person or party or shop that repaired your 360 booth, that booth will no longer be able to be claimed. You can't make a claim on that same 360 booth unless you show proof that you repaired it, repaired it the first time around, okay? So that's just a heads up for you guys. So then I asked them, okay, well what if one of my booths falls on top of a client and hurts their ankle and now there's medical, uh, you know, there's medical bills involved and stuff. They're like, well in that case, 
your general liability, your $2 million general liability insurance would kick in and all you have to pay is a $500 deductible. So that right there was great peace of mind. And that's what I wanted to share with you guys. And Thimble so far has been really easy to deal with. Now for me, now I'm debating whether I should just buy the part from my supplier as a spare part, install it myself and not deal with Thimble. And that's probably what I'm going to do because this spare part is only gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars. So I'm better off buying the part directly as a spare part from my manufacturer. And I'll list my manufacturer in the description box below where I get all my photo booths from because one, it's high quality product. Two, they offer warranty, but this right here is not gonna fall under the warranty because it was my fault. Not exactly my fault, but the damn person who stepped on it and bent the crap out of it. So it's, that's my bad, right? So I'm looking forward to receiving the part and I'm sure I'm gonna get it just in a few business days. I can install that part and I'll be good to go. But now I have peace of mind through Thimble. If I'm in a situation, I know what to expect and how to go about the claim. Best thing you guys can do in any situation, if there's an incident, make sure you take a couple of videos and a couple of photos of the situation. And that way, later on, you can submit those to Thimble. And they're really good about just honoring their, their payout, just as long as you guys can give them some information. And that's what I learned so far. And I'm no longer pissed making this video. Got that off my chest. This video is nice and lengthy, but it, sometimes you got to take the length. Kind of terrible. Sometimes you have to watch an informative, long uh, video, long content to get all that information in. So once again, guys, things happen and we're learning. I'm gonna go ahead and list my in the description box below the Thimble insurance I am using. I'm only paying fifty-three dollars and thirteen cents a month to have a $2 million liability coverage, which is, I think, pretty amazing. I'm also gonna list my suppliers who have been with me from the jump, and I stay loyal to them because they, they're kick-ass. Good product, and I'm getting it at factory price, wholesale price, whatever you wanna call it. Fact is, we're not paying retail, baby. So, that's the video for you guys enjoy. Please hit the thumbs up, because I think a lot of people are gonna benefit from this video. One, they're gonna know that, hey, not every event goes smoothly. Two, they're gonna know, hey, if something ever happens to my business or my business equipment, I, I'm covered like a professional through Thimble Insurance if that's who you decide to go through. If you guys have existing insurance, then go ahead and get different quotes to see where you're gonna get the best deal, okay? So, see you guys in the next video. Take care, peace.